good evening um, in this video we will be discussing about general method construction of parabola this will be the question to construct a parabola when the distance of the focus from the direct axis is 50 mm uh, if you see here here there is no information regarding the eccentricity because for the parabola it will be one so eccentricity will be one so you, they will not specify it in the question they will be specifying only the distance from the directrix regarding the focus point that's it so this is about general so now we will open our autocad screen so in this so as usual uh, we will draw a directrix before drawing anything we will be starting with uh, limits so let me use my limits l i m i p s limits enter 0 comma 0 enter 500 comma 500 enter then zoom all then the units Check the units it is in millimeters so no problem millimeters okay now let us draw a line something like this uh, we'll state it as uh, we will say it, we want a straight line vertical line therefore i'll press ortho on so ortho is on so let it be some 200 ml 200 ml escape once this is finished then this is what the directrix is about this is what the information given in the question then we will draw a straight line a horizontal line from the midpoint of this with 50 mm is the question 50 mm or not yes 50 mm so 50 mm and press enter so this is the you know supposedly we will do one thing p t y p e p type i am changing that is point style i am changing and ok so select a point at the end of p o enter select a point at the end here this end point now this particular point becomes the focus point this is becomes the focal point so let me write the name for that that is mt enter multi text enter so i'll, I'll select a window here then in the panel you can see it is 2.5 i want something like 4 i'll change it to 4 and then uh, I'll use capital F for uh, uh, denoting this one. So close text editor. So this is my focus point F. Now, uh, when we are talking about ellipse, what we'll do? We'll be dividing this one, this line into number of equal parts. In that way, after that, uh, numerator uh, count, whatever is there, that count will be selected from the F so that we'll get the vertex point. But here it is not uh, like that directly we can take a point directly we can take a midpoint somewhere here it will be there i'll show you that midpoint to you before that i'll uh, rename these things i'm just copying them and i'm um, double click it uh, changing the names so this is your c point this is your v point this is zero where will be the v point let me denote the v point also p o enter the vertex point will be exactly at the center so this is the midpoint selection this is the center point so this is your v this is your f this is your c now what you will do we will draw a straight line from v to f escape then we will select the straight line which you have drawn and that straight line will be rotated with base point as v with 90 degrees i'm pressing 90 and press enter so this is how the rotate point will be then what we will do, we will take a line and join this one and this one. We will, uh, we can give the name for this thing, we can give something like uh, join CP uh, where VP is equal to VF. This is what we will do. Then what we will do, we will take some offset and uh, we will take uh, um, some 200, uh, we, we can say one thing we'll do we'll draw a 200 mm line from v to like this we'll draw a 200 mm line let me draw 200 mm line or uh, some 150 mm line also it's okay no problem 150 mm line i have drawn then i am offsetting this line i'm offsetting this line uh, through this thing so when i want to offset through then i have to, have to select the offset command offset command and then press enter so that it goes through the through then it will ask me to select this object there is the object i want to select 
and through this point I'll select. So this is how it will be there. Now we have to extend the CP up to this line. We want to extend CP up to this line. Uh, we can uh, we can clearly see that CP when it is extended it doesn't meet this point. So I'll do one thing. I'll select this line and I'll drag this line in the top or direction like this, something like this, so that somewhere it will be uh, hitting it. So then I'll go to the extend command in the modify toolbar and extend CP up to the uh, straight line whatever I have extended it. So then whatever the unnecessary things are there I can remove them. So I'll remove this unnecessary thing so, so that uh, whenever I'm using zoom extends it will be easily looking. You see here the point size has become very big because of my zooming up and zooming down. So we can change it again by pressing P type where the point style will be obtained change it to some 2 then press ok so this is how it will be looking like if you want you can change it uh, a little bigger size pt by so some 3 uh, up and to the finish pt by pg enter some 3 p and press ok that's the point here is the now what we will do whatever the from b to uh, uh, line whatever the line which is drawn from B to the end point this one you select it so divide it into number of equal parts let me say B I V and divide so press this line and divide it into some 10 equal parts in this way I will be getting it so these are the 10 equal parts which you have obtained now if you want you can give separate color coding for them I am selecting these all and I am giving some uh, we will give some yellow color so this yellow color is given. Now what you will do is that you select this line and use copy, use copy command and base point as this point and at all these points you draw or copy these lines. At all these lines you copy these lines. Then unnecessary parts what are is there you can remove them. So these are all unnecessary to me. I am removing these all things. So give the names. Give the names. What will be the names will be there. Uh, I'll use the command. I'll select this point. And here, this is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is your tenth point. Similarly, similarly, we can have here also. This is your one dash. 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, and 10 dash. So you can uh, edit them. <coughs> I'll do for 2 to 3 things. After that, uh, uh, depending upon your requirement, you can do it. So this is 1, this is 1 dash, this is 2 dash. This is two. If you can see here, the focus point is separate and the, the dividend points are divide, yeah, separate. You can see those things perfectly. So, since it is a parabola, this will be an open color. No, no closing will be done. Uh, after a certain amount of time, uh, it will be opened only. It will not be closed. So, in this way, you can rename the remaining things also. Depending on the requirement, you can do it. After that, next step is that take a circle and from 1 to 1 dash draw a circle from 1 to 1 dash draw a circle then select this circle change the center from there to the focus point that is the reason why i have uh, changed the focus point color separately after that escape then select pivo enter pivo enter you can see there are two intersection points on this one one dash line one is at this point and the other one is at this point so for repeating any command we can press enter so after enter we can go to this point and we can select this point also then delete this circle which is not necessary now after that go to the second circle uh, go to the circle command again from 2 to 2 dash from 2 to 2 dash draw a circle then as usual select this circle change the center from 2 to f then you can see the intersection point is there here when you are zooming it it is visible to you so select pivo enter 
and select this point by zooming a little bit inside. Again, in the opposite direction, also you can see you can get it. So, this is P O enter in here. Then delete this unnecessary circle, whatever is there. Then again, 3 3 day dash. So, use uh, circle command 3 3 3 dash. Select the circle, change the center from 3 to F. Then P O enter. This is your uh, intersection point at the top. And repeat the command that is press enter. And it is the it, uh, opposite direction also you got instead of deleting the circle um, some people may ask why should we delete again circle and type again circle so it's not necessary i am giving this information so that you won't get any confusion also you can try this way also so you go to the fourth point change the center to the fourth point then change the dimension like this four four dash then again change the center from there to f then you can see intersection points that is p o enter one is at this point and another one is this point this well you can go whatever it is it's up to you you need not delete it again and again you can see again i'm changing the center from f to 5 from 5 to 5 dash i'm changing the radius then i'm centering changing the center from 5 to f then we will end up select the point on the top portion and select the point on the portion, top bottom portion. For repeating the command you have to use either enter or spacebar whatever is feasible to you then 6 6 dash change the center from there to f change the center from uh, select the circle change the center from there to the f then again p o enter intersection point on the 6 6 dash and bottom box so this is how you get this so remaining also you can uh, finish it I'll try to finish it uh, as fast as possible. So change the center from here to here. Then uh, change the radius from 7 to 7 dash. Then again change the center from there to the focus point. See that whenever you are doing it, you do perfectly. So in this way, uh, in the top portion. In the bottom portion, you, you see that it is not connecting. Don't worry. If it is not connecting, don't worry. We can do mirror image afterwards. So then change the center from here to here then change the center from here to here radius then change the center from this to focus point p o enter here you can draw the point similarly last two segments i will finish it as fast as possible so this one also you can go here change the select the circle change the center point from here to F then P O enter so this parabolas are basically the uh, way how if you, if you throw a ball uh, that travels in a parabatical path so in that way you can have these things in regular applications also. so this parabola is regularly used in your uh, day to day things so now all the points are finished, so delete it. You can see that uh, the bottom four points are not obtained to me. So what I will do is that I will use mirror image. I will select all these points. Uh, whatever are there. I will select these all points. And press enter. And use this uh, C, this line as thing. So that uh, the bottom points are also obtained. Okay, one more point is missing here. So I will select these all. So this four points whatever are there i can select them i'll select them even lines also i'm selecting so that it looks good to me so i'm selecting all these things and uh, i'm selecting all these things and using mirror command and select from c to the f and then no so with this all these points are obtained for making the points to be of same size what i'll do is t y p e enter some four elbows okay when you are zooming up and down the point this will definitely change you don't worry about those things so once this is finished and then you can use spline or polyline whatever is useful to you i am using spline here uh, instead of spline you use polyline it will be looking good so polyline whatever the points are obtained you select all those points uh, one by one carefully select them 
you need not uh, go to the center also just uh, click on this point automatically it will go there so it will be very easy to select these lines uh, these points what are up there and after this bottom points are finished you have to join the vertex also after that the top points will select the top points um, you can see I'm selecting the top points very easily because you need not go to the center and exactly catch it if you just keep on that automatically it will be going to the center point of the point point. so that is the plus point of these uh, point selections so once this is all done then escape then use poly edit command PE enter select this polyline and use fit so that the curve is obtained perfectly then press escape then press escape we will do one thing we will select the curve and we will give some color I have given blue color and I am using some line weight 50 mm it's not visible so line width display can be on in the bottom panel here this is the line width display with this the diagram is finished afterward in some cases they will be asking you to draw the tangent and normal of the uh, a point on the curve they may ask the process will be same uh, as in the ellipse something like you select a point vivo select a point somewhere here this one i am selecting i am giving separate color so that we don't get confused i am giving some pink color i have given it so after that what we will do we will take a line and from this point up to the focus point we will draw a line and again draw a separate line on the same concept so we will draw two lines from that point we have selected to up to the f then use this select one line on it and use rotate command and from the focus rotate it with 90 degrees rotate it with 90 degrees so this 90 degrees rotated line will be cutting the directrix at one point if it is not cutting extend it so that it cuts at the directrix after it is finished then from the cutting whatever the cutting point the intersection is there from there to the point whatever is there you draw two lines like this again two lines then press escape then select one line and rotate with this respect to this point with 90 degrees and uh, select this line from there to here in this way so this line will be the tangent and normals uh, one second i am using line weight also for it so, so here this one this particular one will become tangent and this one will become normal so as it is in the ellipse concept what you have done the same thing will be done here also uh, we'll select a point on the curve from there to the focus point we'll draw two lines and one line is rotated with 90 degrees so that it cuts the directrix at a point from that intersection point we uh, we join up to the point selected in the previous case that one will be the tangent and perpendicular to that line whatever we draw will become a normal so this is the tangent and normal and even now the problem is not yet finished we have to give the information it is multi text we have to give so i'll select something like this uh, some three size i'm selecting three size and uh, uh, where is the question? Here is the question. So construction of a parabola. This is the question. Whatever is there. I'm selecting it. I'm writing here and then close text editor Then uh, I'll do one thing. I'll select it and I'll drag it so that it looks good here So this is what the question is about and uh, even now the problem is not finished because The information should be given perfectly. Whatever the information is there in the question should be repeated here except 50 mm nothing is given in the thing therefore what we have to do we have to uh, give annotation for the c point with the focus point that should be shown in the line so this one will be shown that's it so once this is finished the problem is finished it's looking very awkward now so what i can do i can just uh, rechange the point uh,